Today I wanted to talk about how Einstein's space-time can expand. And like my last video, it starts with the question of which is correct, Einstein's general relativity or quantum general relativity. And in either case, you must have some sort of medium with dimensions and clocks for relativity to be true. If there weren't dimensions and clocks throughout space, there would be no relativity theory, no special relativity, no general relativity. So it really brings it down to a question of whether we have a non-quantized medium or a quantized medium. And with a non-quantized medium, it's made of dimensionless points. And if it's dimensionless points, they have no dimensions, which is logically impossible. And it also has no clocks, because you can't build a clock without having something there with dimensions. And there isn't even something there, because in order to have something real, you have to have something with dimensions. If there's no dimensions, it's nothing. So Einstein's model of an infinitely divisible medium where you can have an infinite number of points on a line between any two points in order to make it smooth and continuous can't exist. It was a Gadotkin experiment to begin with and it's still fictitious today. So that makes an obvious question or answer to the question of whether we have Einstein general relativity or quantized general relativity because a non-quantized space-time medium is logically impossible. Then thinking about it in terms of expansion, in order to make a region of space expand with these dimensionless points, you would have to add an infinite number of dimensionless points constantly in order to make expansion occur. Except that even then you don't have expansion. You can think of if I have an empty cup and I have a cup full of Einstein dimensionless particles with hypothetical dimensions and clocks that you pour them into the cup and the cup's not full. You pour more in the cup, the cup's still not full. You do this an infinite number of times and the cup's still not full because the dimensionless points have no dimensions. And you try to fill a balloon and the balloon doesn't blow up because it has no dimensions. So you can't get an expansion with dimensionless points. Any real substance that could fill space and have dimensions and clocks is quantized. If the medium has dimensions and clocks, it has wavelengths and frequencies. If it has wavelengths and frequencies, it's quantized where the energy equals Planck's constant times frequency equals HF equals HF means adding to space-time media means adding energy and massive amounts of energy and there's no energy available there's no energy to drive space-time expansion space-time expansion would be a huge violation of the principle of conservation of energy once a region is filled at its maximum density with a real substance, you can no longer fill it. It doesn't expand if you keep adding stuff in that region. It's just full. So a real quantized substance doesn't create expansion either. It doesn't drive expansion. And of course, Einstein's fictitious space-time media doesn't drive expansion either. So there is no expansion. Expansion of space-time is a logical impossibility. This field of quantized particles, which is essentially the quantum field, doesn't expand either. It has particles that occur between the particles, but it doesn't get bigger. And just as importantly, there's no contraction of space-time. There's no curvature of space-time. There's no dilation of clocks. Special relativity and general relativity work different than the way proposed by Einstein. 
So they need to be reworked, starting as a basis, having a quantized medium as a field from which the relativity effects arise. So you may be thinking, all these physicists act like space-time expansion is a fact. Well, it's not a fact. The fact is, there's redshift proportional to distance with galaxies that are at a distance. We need to determine what the cause of the redshift is, because it's obviously not expansion, because expansion is a logical impossibility. And many physicists forget that if your hypothesis is logical impossibility, you stop. You can't continue. You can't work with fictitious physics, even though a lot of what you see in popular media is fictitious physics. And that's why I talk about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to read more about my research in quantum field theory and particle theory, I have some books for sale. And I want to give a big thanks to my supporters who have been giving me donations to my PayPal and Patreon. That's a, a big personal help, and I appreciate it. So thank you.